Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 4 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the advancement book. Uh, last episode, we started on our quest to obtain all of the mulches in Sky Factory 4. Uh, but to do that, we actually have to build a bunch of machines that we don't already have in this world. So last episode, we worked on the machines that we would need for the yellow mulch and the sweet amber or the amber mulch. Uh, this episode, we're going to work on the machines that we need for the ruby mulch and the red mulch. And actually, these two machines will give us enough resources to also do the black mulch mulch and the blue mulch, uh, which is probably going to be next episode. Uh, but uh, to start, uh, we are going to need to get some fertilizer into our world. Uh, so to make the ruby mulch, we need some fertilizer. Uh, to make the fertilizer, we need a sewage composter. Uh, the sewage composter actually composts sewage. So what we need to do is get a sewage collector into our world uh, that will allow us to obtain um, that really, really interesting resource. Uh, so to start, we are first going to need a machine case uh, to make a machine case it is four iron ingots four wood planks and a block of redstone we're going to take that machine case we're going to go we're going to place it into a crafting table uh, with four bricks a piece of redstone a bucket and two pieces of plastic and uh, now we were making this uh, quite a while ago when we were working on the uh, i believe it was the compact chest uh when we were you know making the little latex machines uh so all those items together they make an animal sewer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here uh, to my little animal pen and i've got a little bit of power set up and we're going to go we're going to place this down on top of uh, that power uh, source there. As you can see, if we open it up, it has got full power uh, and it will start collecting sewage. So to make this work, we're gonna need to use a range add-on. Now, uh, I've got one preset up over here. And if we open up this crafting table, you see it's a range add-on five. Uh, if you if we look at the JEI, uh, there's a, a number of different ranges that are available from one all the way up to 12. Uh, this uh, particular machine here will actually only go up to the 11 now i could easily make the 11 like they're not tiered you don't have to, you can make one without making the others uh so really you're going to pick the one that's going to make the most sense uh in my case it is going to be uh the range five uh but if we were to make the one it's as easy as cobblestone plastic and glass um you know the the highest one range 12 is you know emeralds plastic and glass so they are all you know within uh you know really really easy to make uh but to make this range add on five it's going to be six of the copper ingots in this case, or six of whatever uh, tiered item you need, uh, two pieces of plastic again, and one glass pane. So we're going to take that range add on. And as soon as I go and I add this in, you can see it's now taking up all of this area here. Uh, it's including this pig down here and the four animals I've got in that pen. Each adult animal will produce 15 sewage uh, per, I guess, per tick. Uh, baby animals only produce five, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but if we look this, uh, if we open this up, you can see we are getting, uh, what does that look? Like? Should be about 65 per per tick. Uh, 75 per tick. We're getting 75 per tick. Uh, and this is filling up really, really quickly. So what we need to do now is uh, we need to take the raw sewage from this uh, animal sewer and we need to actually process it into that fertilizer. So to process the sewage, we need to make ourselves a sewage composter. Now, sewage composter is a machine case, uh, two pieces of plastic, a furnace, two pistons, two bricks, and one redstone. Uh, so very similar to uh, the uh, sewage animal sewer, uh, we're going to go, we're going to take this uh, sewage composter, we're going to place it uh, within, you know, distance of uh, the animal sewer. It doesn't make sense to, you know, locate it far away. I'm actually going to break this block here and then we we are going to go and grab a fluid extraction cable uh, because this is powered up. We're going to go and right click on that. And if we open it up, you can see it's already filling up with sewage and it is, you know, turning that sewage into fertilizer uh, really, really quickly. So before I do anything else, though, let's go turn that off and we're going to come back over here. Now, the next thing we've got to build uh, to make our mulches uh, is gets this is going to get a little bit more complicated again. Um, 
So what we are going to need to make the red mulch is some HDPE pellets. Now the HDPE pellets are made in a pressurized reaction chamber, which is one of the machines we built last time. Um, but uh, last time we were making these substrate pellets uh, with water and oxygen. Uh, this time we got to use the oxygen, the substrate pellet itself, uh, and liquid ethylene. Now we don't have liquid ethylene in our world, but what we do have is we do have ethylene. Now that ethylene was a byproduct of some of the stuff that we were making last time. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to build a rotary conden condensate trader, um, <laughs> which is going to take the ethylene and make it liquid ethylene. So like I said, things are getting really, really complicated. Uh, to make the condensentrator, uh, we are going to need first an energy tablet, which is three gold ingots, four redstone, and two enriched alloys. Uh, we are also going to need a basic fluid tank, which is four iron ingots and four pieces of redstone. And then we're going to take these two items. We're going to place the energy tablet in the middle, the basic fluid tank on the side, a basic gas tank, which is uh, something that we built last time, uh, four pieces of glass and two of the basic control circuits, uh, which again, we made last time with a machine that we made quite a ways ago. Uh, this is getting very, very complicated guys. So uh, hopefully uh, it is understandable. If you got any questions, so let me know in the comments. Uh, I don't know uh, if I am explaining this well enough or not, but all of these together, they get us this rotary condens condensing trader. Uh, and what we're going to do now is I'm going to cut, I'm going to get everything set up so we can kind of demonstrate how to make these items uh, and make them all work. And then I will be right back. Okay guys, so we are back. Uh, as you see, I've kind of rearranged the stuff over here in this uh, little area. Uh, we've placed the rotary condensate. If we open it up, you see it is powered. What we need to do now is we need to fill it with that ethanol. It will condense that down into liquid ethanol, uh, which we can use uh, in the next episode when we are making those mulches. Uh, so the pressurized reaction chamber, uh, last episode we were using the water and the hydrogen, as well as some biofuel that was getting us uh, some substrate and some ethanol. So now we got to get the ethanol from this uh, P, uh, pressurized reaction chamber over into this rotary condensate. So we're going to take the basic pressurized tube, we're going to place it down here, and as you see, it doesn't look like it is making its connection. Uh, we've been through this before. We know that we got to kind of go in here to the side uh, config. Now, is it a fluid? Fluids are already saying yellow. Is it a gas? A gas output, a dark blue, and here you go. Uh, it is now up and working. It's got the ethanol in there and it is slowly going to change this over into a uh, liquid ethanol. So uh, that is how you use the rotary condensate. That is how you use the pressurized reaction chamber. Again, we did that one last time. So next episode, we're going to take that liquid ethanol. Uh, we're going to, you know, run it through the pressurized reaction chamber. We're going to use that to get things like these HP, HDPE pellets, uh, which are going to allow us to make some other materials that we're going to need to make these mulches. But uh, next episodes will be the mulches proper. Uh, this has been a, a little bit of a difficult, a very complex one. Uh, like I said before, hopefully it is understandable. Let me like, know if you guys have any questions about any of this. Uh, I'm hoping I am explaining it properly, but uh, that is going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Uh, also check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi. Uh, as well, there will also be a link to my brand new Patreon page. Uh, if you guys enjoy this channel, if you guys enjoy this series uh, and you want to support the channel, you know, stop by, check it out. There's some uh, great perks, uh, one of which is getting your name uh, at the end of all of my videos. Uh, but uh, that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.